On November 30th, 2022, a revolutionary new chatbot called ChatGPT was unveiled to the world. In just the first week of its launch, it gained more than a million users. ChatGPT is free, online, and it can generate text based on prompts given by its users. It can create a wide range of content, from movie scripts to computer code. While ChatGPT may be new, the technology behind it has been in development for years by OpenAI, a company founded in 2015 by a group of donors, including Elon Musk. The goal of OpenAI was to research and develop artificial intelligence in a responsible manner for the benefit of humanity. However, shortly after becoming the CEO of Twitter, Musk banned OpenAI from accessing his company's database of tweets and has been openly criticizing the company on Twitter, claiming that it is no longer open and has been taken over by Microsoft. So what's really going on here? Why is Elon Musk so critical of a company he co-founded? It turns out that while Musk did co-found OpenAI, he has not been involved with the company since he stepped down from its board of directors in 2018. In the meantime, OpenAI received a $1 billion investment from Microsoft to develop new AI technology that Microsoft could then commercialize. But how is this possible? Isn't OpenAI a nonprofit organization? Actually, it used to be. However, before securing the investment from Microsoft, OpenAI transitioned from a nonprofit to a capped profit organization. This means that investors are allowed to receive a return on their investment, but it is capped at a predetermined limit. Any profits beyond this limit are used to fund OpenAI's mission of developing AI for the benefit of humanity. While this may sound like a good compromise, the returns for the first round of investors are capped at 100 times their original investment. This means that OpenAI would have to generate $100 billion in profit to pay back Microsoft. With such a high rate of return, the cap is essentially meaningless, and OpenAI is effectively a for-profit company. Microsoft has already started selling ChatGPT's technology to enterprise customers on its Azure cloud computing platform. There are reports that it's considering investing even more money in OpenAI. Elements of an AI neural net are really very similar to a human brain. Musk has long been concerned about the potential dangers of artificial intelligence and the risk that it could pose to humanity once computers become smarter than people. He founded OpenAI as a nonprofit focused on maximizing the benefit and safety of humanity, not maximizing profit. However, it seems that OpenAI quickly abandoned its nonprofit status in pursuit of financial gain. While ChatGPT may seem like a harmless novelty today, it and other technologies developed by OpenAI have the potential to drastically reshape our economy and society. So what has Elon Musk said directly about ChatGPT? Well, on December 3rd, he said, ChatGPT is scary good. We are not far from dangerously strong AI. Now this was in response to Sam Altman's tweet saying, interesting to me how many of the ChatGPT takes are either this is AGI, which is obviously not true, or this approach can't really go that much further. So now that the initial hype of ChatGPT has started to subside, tell us what you think in the comments. What does the future hold for this technology? Is this close to dangerously powerful AI? Or is this simply a useful tool that will have limited use that may not be that meaningful? Only time will tell. If you like this content, please subscribe, like the video, and we will do our best to keep you updated on all the new AI developments coming down the pipeline. We'll see you next time.